Hello green butterflies, we are on lesson 2.1, use pictures to show taking from. We're working on the standard represent and solve problems involving addition and subtraction. In other words, show and solve, figure out, problems having to do with addition and subtraction. And since it says taking from, I'm betting that this one has to do with subtraction, with minus. Our essential question is, how can you show taking from with pictures? Draw to show taking from. Write how many there are now. There are five children in the sandbox. So let's just draw five circle children. You don't even have to make stick figures. Five children in the sandbox. Two walk away. So let's circle two and cross them off to show that they're going away. Two walk away. How many children are there now? Go ahead and write your answer. Okay, check your answer. You should have three. Let's take a look at the next page. There are four cats in the whole group. Four cats. One cat walks away, so they circled it and crossed it out. You can trace that. How many cats are there now? That's right. Three. Now the answer won't always be three. Let's go on to the next problem. Share and show. Circle the part you are taking away from the group, then cross it out. Write how many there are now. So there were six bugs. Two bugs fly away. Go ahead and circle and cross out the ones that are flying away. How many bugs are left? Write your answer. Okay, check. Did you get four? I figure you probably did. Let's look here. Three dogs. One dog walks away. Go ahead and circle and cross it out. How many are left? Two. Okay. You've got the same thing to do on the next page. Seven chicks, two walk away. Six ducks, three walk away. Ten fish, six swim away because fish don't walk. Now, let's look at the hot problem at the bottom. Choose numbers to complete the story. Write the numbers. Draw to show the problem. So just pick a number of worms. Anything 10 or less. Go ahead and write that number, whatever number you want it to be. And then choose to have some wiggle away. Now let's pretend that you had three worms. Could you have four worms wiggle away? No, because you can't have more wiggle away than you had in the first place. So make sure that your number here is the same same as or smaller than your number here otherwise it's not going to work oh and be careful because you have to have three worms left when you're done hmm how are you going to do that you need to make sure that you have three worms left after some of them wiggle away think about that one all right let's take a look there are some problems on the back. Remember, you can go to the page where it reads it to you and type in the page 56. If you need help, I will help you when I'm done working with the orange squirrels. See you then.